Hi there, Larry Ann here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. Today's soap is inspired by my most favorite season of them all, fall. I'm calling this one fall forage. And day one, I'm making leaf embeds. I'm using three different colors. I'll do an in the cup swirl with the colors and then I'll just pour right into the leaf molds. I do not use sodium lactate, so the soap is still kind of soft whenever I unmold it. I usually let them dry for a minimum of three hours to overnight before I use them because I don't want to handle them when they're soft. I might dent them up or damage them somehow, and I don't want to do that. The fragrance oil that I'm using for this soap is called Squirrely Nut, and it's a nutty blend of walnuts and pecans enhanced with butter and French vanilla. And it really does smell like walnuts and pecans. And that's another thing. How do you pronounce pecan? Do you pronounce it pecan, pecan, pecan? I kind of switch between pecan and pecan. But pecan is like, ugh, it's so harsh on the vocals. Like pecan is just like, oh, it just comes out, pecan. Whereas pecan, it's like, ooh, that's like my fabulous pecan. Would you care for some pecans, darling? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm driving myself nuts. Get it? Ha! So I've just put all four leaf embeds into the soap batter. And yes, I did spray them with 99% isopropyl alcohol before I embedded them. Time to crack open that embed tray. Yeah, I know that was kind of acorny. Yeah, I know. There are some almonds, acorns, and pecans, and they are made with melt and pour. I got a new piping tip, and I was very excited to try it. The look I was going for was a big fluffy pile of colorful leaves without actually having to pipe leaves. And I'm using the same colors that I used in the leaf embeds. Got a little overzealous there. I, I thought I was frosting a cupcake or something. Can it be? Time for the mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. Forty eight hours later, time to cut the soap. Well, one of my leaf embeds didn't make it all the way through to the edge, and there's a little tiny hole in there that I'll fix. But other than that, I really love this soap. Well, this soap was unbelievably fun to make. I hope you join me next time as I make a soap inspired by Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm so excited for that one. Until then, thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for watching. 
feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.